Hello everyone, and uh, we are at Koshkanong Creek. We're gonna fish it. Actually, we are fishing it right now. The creek is about two feet deep, so it's really not all that much. But we gotta talk about Bitcoin, Ethereum, and why the options uh, are holding the price down right now, but mainly Bitcoin. So, uh, you know, the water is really high in Wisconsin right now. And the worst thing is not actually like the lack of fish. That sucks too. But also because of these dang mosquitoes, they're always worse when the water's high, especially at night, which I'm going to fish at night, either here or Fort Atkinson. But let's actually go ahead and talk about crypto right now. And there, um, and why uh, Bitcoin price might, and Ethereum price is straddling this range right now. There are a bunch of put and call options that are available on the surface. Um, there's a lot of shorts for Bitcoin below 70K if they get wiped out. Uh, they basically are going to, the uh, bears are going to lose $1.67 billion if it goes to 70K. And Ethereum, if it goes to $3,600, the, uh, the put options, which are bearish options, uh, are going to lose several hundred million dollars as well. So it's a double play for Bitcoin and Ethereum, and we know those are correlated and the bears are desperate to hold that price down. Let me explain what a put option is. A put option is where you uh, buy the right to sell a crypto at a certain price, no matter how much the crypto goes down. So like, you know, if you buy a put option at 3,500 and the price goes down to 3,100, you could technically buy at 3,100 and then sell the Bitcoin directly at, uh, I mean, Ethereum directly at 3,500, therefore bagging a $400 reward. Call options are the other way. You um, basically bag the right to buy at a certain price. So like if you buy an option at 3,500, and then um, you know Bitcoin goes up to like four thousand. You can still buy at thirty five hundred. So one's a bullish option, the other's a bearish option. Puts bearish uh, call as bullish. And above thirty six hundred dollars on Ethereum, there's about ten times as many puts as calls because the bears have made their bed and they're betting against Ethereum. And of course, there's a lot of bets against Bitcoin under seventy k. And uh, that's why they want to hold crypto low until a magical date. And that date, my friends, is June 28th. For Ethereum, there are $4 billion worth of options uh, that are expiring then. For Bitcoin, there are uh, a lot of shorts and longs that are basically leveraged until then. So if the price goes up to 70,000, Ethereum will definitely go up to around $4,000 and the bears will get wrecked. And we want the bears to get wrecked. Why? Because bears are evil. That's why they bet against Bitcoin and crypto and they want to hinder the progress of crypto and not uh, allow for the great Bitcoin empire to take place. They are allies of people like Elizabeth Warren, Gary Gensler and Peter Schiff and constantly, constantly betting against crypto. So we want to destroy and annihilate their positions so they will learn never to do it again, especially for these call and put options because if the uh, put price goes below their strike price, then their options are worthless um, and they lose all that money they paid for the right to have that put option. We want those call options to uh, be worth a lot of money. We want the put options not to be worth a lot of money. And we need to do it before June 28th. We also need to get those short positions to uh, completely annihilate and liquidate. And it could definitely be the bears or I mean, the whales doing this as well. If BlackRock is doing this, we need to destroy BlackRock's positions. Because if we destroy BlackRock positions, I mean, it might affect some of your retirement funds, but I don't really think so. Those are like a different case. Uh, then, you know, like these big companies, they'll learn to be more careful and they won't be so brazen to manipulate the price in the future. We need to t teach them lesson after lesson after lesson. Michael Saylor is doing his part by buying $728 million worth of Bitcoin. And if you uh, are looking to buy, both Ethereum and Bitcoin are really good buys right now, especially Ethereum and ERC-20. I actually, for ERC-20, I would just buy base um, or projects on base. I Or you could just buy Ethereum itself. Both would actually work. And uh, there's a lot of interest on that. We all know that Ethereum is going to moon after the ETF next month. I mean, yeah, it might eventually go down first to $3,000 before going back up uh, to about $5,000. Look what happened to Bitcoin. Uh, once the ETF launched, they first went down to 3,800 before going to 7,300. We're expecting the same price action for Ethereum. So Ethereum buying right now, you might be crying when it dips a little bit, but then you'll be laughing 
when it rises super high. So right now is the time to get into Ethereum and you will be doing a, nut, a double service for humanity by helping destroy the bears and their put options and making them worthless and signaling to the bears in the future that we're not taking this anymore. If you dare bet against Bitcoin, you will be punished, especially if you know that Ethereum is going to go up a little bit afterwards, but you're just trying to hold the price down right now and making people sad that they're not getting gains right away. And you know, as, while you're at it, we might liquidate those Bitcoin shorts too. There are Bitcoin shorts, as I've said, all the way up to 73,000. We could hit a new all-time high if we just trigger it at 66, 67,000 and start triggering all those liquidations all the way up to $73,000. So this is a really good opportunity to destroy the bears on both the Ethereum and the Bitcoin front. And you know what? We sh they should definitely do it because like I said, bears are evil. They should not be tolerated and their financial positions must be destroyed whenever possible. And right now is a great, w uh, a great position to destroy those crypto bears and cripple their hopes for profit before the boron. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.